Thank you so much for tuning in, listening in to this more in-depth look at um, our message from Sunday. So I would encourage you, if you'd like to get uh, a more full picture of what's going on, uh, check out the Sunday morning worship message um, that goes along with this exact same text uh, that we have. Though they are two different messages and, and two different things, it just will really help you to do that because... We're in our encouragement series. We're going through the book of First Peter. We're working through the verses. And we want to give you courage to live for Jesus. We want to encourage you, if you're not a Christian, to be saved. To turn away from the other religions. To turn away from self-religion. And, and follow Jesus Christ. And we're going to talk about these things here. Let's just have a prayer together before we do that. God, may your wisdom go. May it shine through us. May we know through the light of Jesus Christ um, what you would have for us to do. Bring your wisdom. Bring your truth. Save our souls if we're not saved. And if we are saved, mature us into thriving disciples of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, we, we all know that we face difficult times and challenging situations. Where you work, where you live, where you, where you worship, where you kind of recharge. There are always these challenging circumstances. One, that they want to keep you down, they want to oppress you, or, or maybe it's just hard because it's life. Relationships are hard, but they're good. Um, work is, is hard, but it's, it's good. And as we look at these things, we know that they can be challenging. And they don't always produce, because of our response, um, the desired uh, effects or effects in those things. But I can tell you this, um, they can actually produce joy every time. Imagine that for a second. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, through Jesus Christ, through God, through His Holy Word, every time you face a trial, every time you face a test, every time you go against something difficult in a relationship, on the other end can always be joy. Always. Now you're not going to always feel happy. But you can have joy when you don't feel happy. You can also have joy when you feel happy. Circumstances around you may never change. But you can still go through those difficulties and those challenges and come out on the other side with the joy of Jesus Christ. You can know that no matter how hard it is, how difficult that test is, you can still face it knowing that good's going to come from it. And we face all kinds of tests in our life. We face difficult tests because we've not studied and prepared enough. We can face difficult tests because we have studied the wrong thing. And we are ill-prepared. And, and we know that tests can just pop up out of nowhere. Just boom. Here it is. And it can sometimes catch us off guard. In fact, our response can be surprise. But the Bible speaks to that. The Bible tells us some things that we can have and how we can approach.